This video includes the uh, same page that we've been working on, page 313, and it's 21 through 33 odds. It's pretty easy. All you're doing is taking the log of both sides. It's practice. Or you can take the ln of both sides, natural log. It doesn't matter. Your choice. I'll probably be taking... Now, with the ln, if it has an E in it, you have to take ln. But if it doesn't, you can do either one. All right, so we're going to start with 21, and we have um, 2 to the x equals 10. Again, you don't get to use the calculator, but I'm going to go ahead and do both the exact value and the approximate value. The exact value is the one you want on your test, or the one you want on your daily assignments. Okay, so you take the log of both sides. Now, the reason we're doing this is so because we're trying to solve for x, and it's it says a power right now. So we're going to use our power property and bring it out front. You divide both sides by log of 2. What base is this? If there's no base here, it's base what? 10. Don't forget it's that. It's base 10. So basically, we get uh, x equals log base 10 of 10 over log base 10 of 2. We know log base 10 of 10 is 1. So it's 1 over log base uh, or just 2. You don't have to put 10 if it's base 10. This is your exact value and the approximate value if we were to put in the calculator, whether you did natural log or the other, is 3.322. Okay, 23. 23, we have uh, 8 to the negative x equals 1.2. Not to worry. Um, we're just taking the log of both sides, so take the log of, mainly for the power property. Use your power property, and uh, we're going to put negative in front here. So we have a negative x equals log, whoops, um, negative x times log base 8 equal, or just log of 8 equals log of 1.2. Um, divide both sides by negative log of 8. So you get x equals log of 1.2 over negative log of 8 and that's your exact value see how easy this is which is approximately negative 0 0.088 the the answer we want is that one 25 is are they going to get hard yet Three, yeah, it looks a little harder here. Um, three to the one minus two x power equals four to the x power. Take the log of both sides. In this case, we're going to um, use the power property on both. So we bring down, we're bringing down this, the powers. We have 1 minus 2x times log of 3, or log base 10 of 3, equals x times log of 4. Now let's go ahead and distribute here. So we get log of 3 minus 2x log of 3 equals x log of 4. Now, I'm going to go ahead and solve for x. So I'm going to move my x's together. So I'm going to just leave him here and move this guy over on this side to get my... I'm trying to solve for x. So we have log of 3 equals x log of 4 plus 2x 
log of 3, factor out the x, using your highest common factor, it's the way the IB likes to call it. So you have log of 4 plus 2 log of 3. And now all we're doing is dividing both sides by this. So we're dividing by log of 4 plus 2 log of 3. That will cancel. And just divide this side by log of 4 plus 2 log of 3. And that's your answer. Okay. If you want to know the approximate answer, the approximate answer is 0 0.307. But we want the exact value. All right? A little more complicated. We had to distribute here. <coughs> and then we had to use the highest common factor. 27. We have 3 fifths to the x equals 7 to the 1 minus x. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, use my power property or take the log of both sides. Let me try to write a little smaller here. So we have log of the three-fifths to the x equals log of seven to the one minus x. Use your power property. Now, what you're going to do is distribute here. So you get um, log of 7 minus x log of 7. Now, group your equals this. Group your x's together, so I'm basically moving him over. So you get x times log of 3 fifths plus x log of 7 equals log of 7. So I just added this to both sides. Factor out the x using the highest common factor, which is x. And then divide both sides by, divide by both sides by that. So you get x equals log of 7 over all of that log of three-fifths plus log of seven. And I guess by now you don't really care about the approximate value, but that's what your answer would be. So not that hard. 29 is um, 1.2 to the x equals 0 0.5 to the negative x. Take the log of both sides. Okay, and uh, use your power property. Okay, and then what we're going to do is um, set this to zero. We've got to group our x's together. So this is, I'm just going to add this to both sides. So we get x log of 1.2 plus x log of 0 0.5 and equals zero. And I'm going to pull out the x. Which this is really one half, right? This is really three halves. And clearly the answer is zero. So this is 29 because if you put zero for x, then so x is zero. So your solution set is zero. Kind of an easy one. A weird one, but easy. 
31. Looks really strange. Let's look at 31. We have pi to the 1 minus x. I want to do this one though because it has the e in it. If it has an e, you have to take ln of both sides. So we're going to take the ln of both sides. Use your power property. The idea behind um, this logs that we're doing is you want to make sure that you do enough of these so you're not scared of them. These are not that hard. So you just want to do a lot of these until you get over the fear of just logs and the way they look. Um, what are we doing? We're doing 31. So basically, I'm going to distribute here ln of 1, ln of pi, excuse me, minus x, ln of pi equals x. And why did I not write this? What is this equal, guys? Yes, this equals 1. So now I'm just going to group my x's together. So I have ln of pi equals x plus x ln of pi. And this is, um, I'm adding ln of pi. So I'm factoring out my x here with the highest common factor, and we get 1 plus ln of pi equals ln of pi. And then you just divide both sides by 1 plus ln of pi. This will cancel. And that's your answer. Okay, and I think we have one more, 33. Okay, 33 is a little different. 33 is 5 to the 2 um, times 2 to the 3x equals 8. Now, before we take the ln of both sides, what we want to do is divide both sides by 5 because we want this as clean as possible. So then at this stage, this will cancel. So now take the, um, you take log or ln, I'm going to do log. Log, because there's no X, uh, E's in here. Okay, use your power property. And we get 3X log of 2. And I shouldn't have done L in here. I should have done what? Log. Sorry. Um, equals log of 8 over 5. Now we're going to d solve for x. So basically we're dividing by 3. We're dividing each side by 3 times log of 2. So basically this cancels, this cancels, and you get x equals this. So that's your answer, which is approximately 0 0.226. But we want the exact value. Exact, approximate. And that's all.